we are going to show you how to use a program called Inkscape. Uh, this is Inkscape already opened. I'm using a Macintosh, far inferior to a Windows desktop, but that's what I have to work with at the moment. So this will disappear. Uh, that doesn't happen on the PC. Uh, what we're looking at is this logo right here. This is the icon for Inkscape. You should have that on your desktop somewhere. So you're gonna open it, it will pop this up, uh, and, and we've got a few different things we're gonna show you how to do. Before I start using this though, I'm gonna find an image that I want to cut out on the plasma cutter. So I'm going to go to the internet and I am going to search for an image. It could be a sports logo, it could be uh, an airplane, an old car or truck, uh, a symbol. Uh, but for example, if I just type in logo and then silhouette, so a silhouette is the outline of a shape. So let's see what we find with this. We've got all kinds of silhouettes. And if I go to images, We've got, uh, there's a Batman logo. Silhouette is a, a machine that works like the plasma cutter, but it cuts stickers out of vinyl. There's a Macintosh logo, Wonder Woman logo, Broncos logo. You'll notice most of them are black and white. That's good for what we want to do. Things like this, where they've kind of got similar colors, um, they get a little harder to use, not impossible, but if we can, we wanna to stick to uh, black and white or, or one solid color or two solid colors, as few solid colors as possible. We're gonna look up something. So for example, let's see, what kind of logo do I want to do? Ooh, I've got one. Uh, I'm gonna look up an engine logo. We, we, so we could do like a Ford logo. Uh, the small engines we use are called Briggs and Stratton. So, oh, hey, there's a couple of them. This one's pretty neat. That's the old version. You can see some lawnmower silhouettes. Uh, I kind of like that, that one up at the top there. So I think I'm going to save that one. The other thing we want is we're hoping for a big file. So if I click on that, it, right here, it tells me we're looking at 763 by 454. That's the image size. The bigger those numbers are, the better. We don't want to go much, 300 things might start getting grainy, but 500 and above, if, so this is seven and almost 500, I think we can make this one work. So I'm gonna save this, I'm gonna right click. I'm going to save image as, and we're gonna give this a name, uh, preferably a name that you remember. So I'm gonna just call, I'm gonna put my name in it, Mr. T Briggs and Stratton. And when you save this, you need to know where you're saving it. On our school computers, if you just save it to the desktop, it will disappear. They reset every night. So you will need to click on this. You will need to go to the, down at the bottom, some here it will say MVMS class. You're gonna open that, it's Turner, open that, and then our, we should have a folder for our specific trimester and class period. You're gonna set it to that folder, and then, so I'm, I'm on this computer, I'm just doing desktop, then we click save. Okay, so, uh, the Macintosh shows it's been downloaded, may or may not do that on your PC, but I have that file saved, okay? So this, now this logo is fairly intricate, there's lots of letters, this might take a little bit of work, uh, simple, something like this would be pretty easy to convert and get ready. Uh, the, more, the more bits and pieces, the harder they can be to, to prep.